Okay, so in this video I'm going to go over how you can use Procreate to create simple objects using some of the tools such as like layer masks and you know textures and things like that. So we're going to recreate this uh, sphere that I've just created um, and I'll show you exactly how it's done. It's not as difficult as it looks. Um, but you can apply these techniques to the other <coughs> uh, like renders that you do. So the same techniques I used for that sphere, I've applied here, although it just took a lot longer to do, it's exactly the same. So what we'll do is we'll create a new canvas. Now on this, we want to go to our color palette, choose black, and then the paintbrush, we want to use ink, and then technical pen, oh that's fine. Okay, so now we just want to create a sphere, doesn't matter if it's bad, keep hold of it and then put your finger on the screen and it'll turn into a perfect sphere, that's fine. And then we drag our colour with the Apple Pencil onto that, so now we have a black sphere. So now that we've done that, uh, what we need to do is brighten that up a bit. If we go to the adjustments and then brightness, we'll take the brightness up to about 80% now that we've got that. So now we're going to add the shading to give it a sense of depth. So I'll just add a layer just to show you that we're going to have the light coming from this direction, which means that the shadow will be around about here, and then the highlight will be about here. And we should have the shadow line about there. So if you create a new layer, go into your brush library and then airbrush in. And then ooh, airbrush in soft brush and then we want the size to be about 20% give or take so now what we're going to do is just slowly and very lightly with the brush follow the gentle curve of the edge of the sphere but then towards the bottom we just want to add a little bit more because it should be a little bit darker there and just blend that in. What we don't want is a really harsh line, you know, like <coughs> here we don't want that harsh line. We've got like a nice gradient here between about there and there. <coughs> oh by the way, to go back and forwards, three fingers to go forwards and then two finger tap to go back. Okay, so now that we've got that, it doesn't look great at the minute, so what we'll do is we're going to use layer masks. So if we tap with our finger on layer one, tap again, and then click on or hit select, this is going to select that sphere. So now if you go back to your layers and then click on the uh, shadow layer, tap on it again, and then uh, select mask. What that's going to do is it's going to use this layer one as a ref as a layer mask for that shadow. So you can see in the mask, anything that's white is revealed, and anything that's black is hidden. So in when you're using masks, the saying is, white reveals, black conceals. <clears throat> so now that if we were to invert that, you can see that everything outside of the sphere is showing, and everything inside that's black is hidden. But we don't want to do that, we want to invert it. So to get out of that, you just tap off that um, third tool from the left. So now that you have this, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add another layer and go back to your brushes and then airbrushing again, soft brush, and then maybe a little bit smaller. You're just going to very gently start painting a very long um, ellipse and then add a little bit more darkness to the bottom of it. So now that we've got something that looks somewhat like a shadow. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to tap and hold with our finger until it just, you know, comes off the panel and then put it below layer one, which is the sphere. So now it's behind it because obviously the shadow will be on the other side as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the arrow and then we're going to go over to warp. So what this allows us to do is warp that um, layer that we've just created 
so because it's just the shadow we can just maybe shorten it a little bit something like that a bit higher I'm going free form just move it up a little bit shrink it down that looks about right now we've got that I might want to turn the opacity down just a little bit because the shadow is never completely black so we'll do that now we've got that the next thing to do is create a new layer and then we're going to use this layer as the highlight layer so you can select pure white and then if we go back to our there's a couple of ways you can do this you can use the soft brush and make it with a small radius you know and just add a highlight like that if you want and you can turn the opacity down slightly or if I create a new one you can use the inking tool technical pen create a sphere again something like that drag the color white over it and then go to adjustments and then Gaussian blur and then we can just drag from the left to the right and that way we can adjust the blur it will get an by doing this you'll get a nice soft transition from the pure white in the middle to nothing on the edges whereas drawing it sometimes the shadow is not quite right but um, that looks fine to me so now to get off that we just tap on there right so now that we've got that the last thing to add would be maybe a texture so if it was made of concrete or something so we can just you know go through and find the ones that we want um, it doesn't really matter too much for this, I think maybe, yeah, a medium nozzle on spray paint might work. So if we make it black, make sure on a new layer, just test the brush size, uh, maybe a bit bigger. We can very lightly just paint over the sphere like that. And that looks about right. So now again, we don't want this. Um, I'll show you. We don't want any of this, so we need to clip it off because obviously the concrete texture wouldn't be on the background; it would be just on the sphere. So if we go to that layer, make and then select the circle again. Go back to the spray paint layer and then mask. Now we should have that. So if you want, you can you know t take your background colour down a little bit, like that. If you wanted to add a bit more definition, because sometimes in a studio, at the back, you know, it's got... Bear with me. Sometimes in a studio, the background, like here, is a little bit darker, and then here to here is a little bit darker. So we can do that in here. So if we create, use this layer 10, the empty layer, drag it down just above the background colour and then we'll get like a airbrush soft. Nope. 20%. Like that. And then at the bottom Like that. And now we've got that, we can maybe turn the opacity down just a little bit, obviously to nothing, maybe about there looks fine. So there, uh, if you want to move things, um, we can select a layer and then with your finger, click and drag, oh, just swipe to the right on any layers that you want to select with that. So we want to select all these highlight layers and the masks and then click on the arrow 
we can move this independently, so maybe a bit more in the center. Further up. Like that. So there we are. A quick tutorial on how to render a sphere using layer masks and textures. If you've got any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you with the answer.